Crystal Palace thrashed Manchester United 4-0 to inflict further misery on Eric Ten Hag. Michael Alai scored a brace, while Jean-Philippe Mateta and Tyrick Mitchell were also on the score sheet. United were again woeful defensively, with the inconsistency that has plagued them this season continuing. Palace, however, maintained their impressive form with a fine display and appear to be moving in the right direction under Oliver Glasner. Male Sports Chris Wheeler brings you some of the things you may have missed from the clash at Selhurst Park. As if four match officials and a VAR team at Stockley Park weren't enough, the players were under even more scrutiny than usual at Selhurst Park. In a one-off move, Jared Gillett became the first Premier League referee to have a camera strapped to his head to record his interaction with Manchester United and Crystal Palace stars close up. The footage, picked up from the camera and mic attached to Gillett's left ear, wasn't used in Sky Sports live coverage but will be included in a program to be screened later in the year, aimed at offering further insight and education into the demands of officiating in the Premier League. The teams didn't have to give their permission, but were informed last week. United's bid to install Dan Ashworth as their new sporting director is having ramifications for Palace. Although Newcastle are playing hardball over United's compensation deal for Ashworth, the hunt for his replacement has led him to Palace director of football Dougie Friedman. Friedman is said to be in talks over a move to the northeast. Mikael Alai scored in this fixture for the second season in a row, and it is understood that Newcastle have rekindled their interest in the United target. Competition will be fierce for the 22-year-old who, though valued at £60 million, has a clause in his contract that can be triggered this summer. Elias is keen to play Champions League football when he leaves Palace. United, Manchester City, Arsenal and Liverpool are all admirers. Incredibly, Bruno Fernandes' absence here was the first time he has missed a match through injury in a United career spanning more than four years. By comparison, his replacement Mason Mount was making only his eighth start for United since a £60 million move from Chelsea last summer. United fans started the game taunting Palace supporters by paying tribute to Eric Cantona, whose infamous kung fu kick happened here 29 years ago, but they ended the first half venting their frustration at Eric Ten Hag's side with cries of, attack, attack, attack.